Hi, this is a quick little basic photo editing tutorial on head swapping. Say you want to put somebody's head and face on someone else's body, or you have a group shot where everybody looks great except that one guy who turned away or who blinked or sneezed. The program that I use for all of my photo editing is Ribbit. It is very user friendly. The first step is to upload your picture. So you click Upload Photos. It'll take you to your own photo library. You click the original picture. So say this is our group shot. We're going to change out little Tommy here. Go to Photo Basket. Open that up. Upload Photos. You're back to your library again. Click the second picture. So the one that's already up there will be our primary picture. The secondary picture, the new head, you just click and drag. These little circles on the corner enable you to size the photo. And the little circle on the top allows you to position it. This box here is the toolbox. This controls any, everything you can do to this secondary picture. The stuff across the top is all editing tools for the primary picture. But we are going to work within this, so we use this toolbox here. The first step is to erase everything but the head. You click on the pencil eraser. Eraser obviously erases. Original paints on the original. So wherever you touch it, it's going to replace whatever was originally in that picture. That comes in very handy if while you're erasing you take off too much and you make a mistake. But for now I'm going to hit erase. I'm going to set my brush size. Brush hardness is just how sharp the edges will be. A lot of times if you have it all the way to the right here, the edges are kind of jagged and rough. So I kind of go to the middle and I'm going to pause this video while I erase. All right, so I have erased everything in that secondary picture except the head. And now what I'm going to do is position it. Position it over this one. At any time you can zoom in by scrolling your mouse. Now this needs to be a little bit bigger to cover the existing one. If at any time you want to check the picture for um, accuracy or size, you can slide this fade bar and it helps you to see with, you know, see through and you can kind of get an idea. Now Tommy's face is in a different position so it's not exactly the same size but you can see that the positioning is good enough. And then you just if you click this X right here, it closes the box. The minute you touch it again, it reopens it. If I click this delete here, it would delete the whole thing and would have to start over. So I just close it and then I hit save and save the picture. Until you save it, until you save it, this remains unfixed and you can move it around. Once you hit save and save it to your library, photo library, it becomes fixed and it's a permanent part of the picture. And that's it. It's really very easy. With more practice, you'll get better at it. I hope you give it a try. Good luck. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.